Hello, gentlemen. Patrick Ryan here, founder of Wingman for You. We help men find the women of their dreams by teaching them how to approach women with confidence. Now, gentlemen, this particular video is more about not just the dating scene, but how to build a relationship with a woman. Now, guys, we think we know what we need to do, right? We need to smile. We need to treat them well, open the door for them, things like that. This is true. But today we're going to talk about the women and the three S's. And the S's are vital if you're going to expect to start a relationship with a woman. So imagine yourself out on your first date and you really like the woman that you've chosen from online or maybe you got fixed up by some friends or perhaps you actually met her organically. So you're on your first date, whether it's coffee, whether it's a concert, whatever it may be, there's one thing that a woman's looking for from a man from the very beginning. Now, guys, let's back up. Oh, maybe two, three, four hundred years or beyond. Now, guys, here in this country, women only have had the right to vote and to own property for 101 years. Yes, it was 1922 that we had a amendment to our Constitution that allowed women to own property. I want you to think back a few hundred years. A few hundred years ago, women were not in a very safe place. The earth, the planet was controlled and dominated by men, by strong men. They didn't have the opportunities they do today to work, to make money, to own property, to own a house, to drive a car. And in fact, in some countries, it's still illegal for women to drive cars. So guys, the number one thing that a woman's looking for you on that first date is one of the S's and it's called safety. Safety is a big, 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 and it's a learned behavior, but it's a big requirement on that first date. They want to know that you're going to be a safe guy to be around. They want to know that the environment that you've selected or where they've decided to meet you, there's a safe environment. But I want to tell you, I want to go a little bit deeper than this, guys. Let's go back a couple hundred years, as I was mentioning. Safety was a major issue for women. Now, all of us humans has, have an innate, and if you don't know what innate means, innate means we're born with this. We have this very specific trait that we are born with. And safety, or basically avoiding, avoiding danger, is one of our things that our amygdala does, which is the thing that it's the part of the brain that protects us, that helps us survive. In fact, it puts us in survival mode. But safety for women, think about the head, heart, and hands. Are they safe in the head? Are they knowing that you are a safe individual? And is their heart safe with you in the sense that if I get in a relationship with this person, are they going to cheat on me? And hands, physical, not just physical touch, but physically, are they safe with you? Can they feel safe and secure being around you, being with you, being out on a date with you, going to remote campsite? So think about it, gentlemen. Safety is one of the number one things that you can do is make a woman feel safe and su safe in that first date so that you can get a second, third, and fourth date. That's number two. Security. They want to know that they're not just safe, but they're also secure with you. Now, some women think security is all wrapped up in bank accounts. Well, for some women, it is. To me, that becomes superficial. If they fall in love with you because of your money, because of your wealth, because of your assets, they're really buying a lifestyle. And they may not be buying your heart. So I would always be a little protective. If you're a man who's got a little extra coin, I would be a little bit protective of that. Okay, so safety. Does she feel safe around you? Again, a learned behavior. It's not innate. She Women have learned this over the years that they need to be safe. Secure. Do you have a secure environment? Your home is secure. Your car is secure. They are safe with you knowing that you have enough coin to take them out to dinner. I was talking to a young lady in her early 30s. She was dating a guy. She goes, he can't even afford to take me out for drinks. Guys, if you're, if, if you're in your 20s and 30s and you haven't built a career yet, go out and get a couple of jobs. Go out and get three or four jobs, whatever it takes, to build up the bank account so at least you can go out on a date. It will help her feel secure. Now, the last S. The last S is the one that 
women demand once they get to a certain place, a certain stage of the relationship, and that is stability. They want to know that they have a safe place in your home, in your life, safe, secure with some sort of assets. And it, and it could be that you just have a job. Believe me, when I dated those more than 250 women over that nine year stretch, just having a job to them was sexy. Okay. There's a lot of great women out there that us guys need to serve by building relationships with them, but building a safe, secure, and stable atmosphere. Now, what's this stable mean to them? What does stability mean to a woman? Stability is all about the future. What's the future going to look like if they chose you? So, guys, I want you to know that the three S's are some of the most important things that we can help provide a woman when we're just starting out in a relationship. Or if you're in a relationship, guys, and maybe you don't have enough coin, so that future looks a little unstable, that's the reason why she's hesitating to be with you. And it's not that you have to be rich. Most women realize they're not going to find a wealthy man who's actually nice to them. If you've got a little bit of money, if you know how to manage your money, you know how to purchase homes, a home, and you live within your budget, that creates the security she's looking for. And it also looks like a stable future for her being with you. Guys, remember, we're also here to help you date and build a strong relationship with your romantic partner. So, I will see you in the next video. I really appreciate you tuning in. Ciao.